super weapons America Navy is set to dominate the seas for a century. The navies that don't evolve are doomed to defeat, and America is no exception. The U.S. Navy has been the most powerful naval force in the world since 1943. But that supremacy is being challenged as Russia, and especially China, field ever more sophisticated systems, including aircraft carriers, quiet submarines, and hypersonic missiles, even some other advanced weapons. Navies that don't evolve are doomed to defeat. And this is the American Navy, that a plethora of new equipment on the drawing boards, the shipyards and the factories. Even have a super weapon that will be a major role in the face of any Navy. Here are five key systems that will give the United States Navy an edge well into the 21st century. Number 1. Sixth Generation Fighters Even as the Navy struggles to digest its new fifth generation F-35 fighters it's thinking about the sixth generation, as it should, because modern jets take decades to develop. Here's reasons nearly nothing can stop the F-35 stealth fighter. The F-35 is the most survivable fighter in the world. The F-35 is the most versatile fighter in the world. And F-35 is the most lethal fighter in the world. Called the Joint Strike Fighter at the time, it was an improbable project, a family of tactical aircraft that could do everything for everybody in the process replacing most of the nation's Cold War fighter fleet. And now designated to the F-35, the fighter really can execute all of the missions it was conceived to perform for the Air Force, Navy, even Marine Corps, and not to mention a growing fraternity of users in allied nations. Despite the delivery of over 600 F-35s, there remains a community of skeptics ready to seize on any indication the program might be flawed. However, it has nothing to do with the performance of the fighters than with the scale of the program, the secrecy of some features, even the way in which popular culture regards weapons spending. Number 2. The Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine. The Columbia-class subs will replace the Cold War Ohio-class vessels, with the first sub slated to begin construction in 2021. The Columbia-class submarine will carry Trident two nuclear missiles, though 16 rather than 20 missiles. Note that, with 16 tubes, a single Columbia could pretty much destroy Russia and China Navy in the battle areas. Number 3. Large Surface Combatant The U.S. Navy's Large Surface Combatant Program, a family of vessels that includes a large ship, that resembles a cruiser and a destroyer, a smaller frigate-like design, and unmanned vessels. Because the Navy's Cold War ships, such as the Aegis cruisers and Burke-class destroyers, are aging and will need to be replaced. Exactly what these ships will look like remains to be determined, but instead of the familiar missiles and guns, expect to see exotic 21st century weapons, such as electromagnetic naval artillery, even laser anti-missile defense. Number 4. Hypersonic Missiles The American Navy recently awarded a $13 million contract aiming to develop guidance systems for hypersonic weapons, fired from Columbia-class submarines. Exactly what these missiles will look like, and what they'll do, remains to be determined. 
the U.S. Navy will be getting hypersonic missiles, defined as rockets that travel at Mach 5 or faster. And most likely, the U.S. Navy's hypersonics will be some sort of boost glide vehicle, where it glides down onto its target at a terrifying speed, as fast as Mach 20, that makes them hard to intercept. These may be strategic weapons that can destroy key enemy installations as China and Russia ships, or tactical ship killers, but they will transform naval warfare. Number 5. Ford Class, and Nimitz Class Aircraft Carrier. The US Navy Ford Class Carriers, are not a future weapon. The first ship in the series, the eponymous USS Gerald R. Ford, was launched in 2013, and commissioned in 2017. But it won't sail on its first operational deployment until at least 2021, and it will be followed by two more ships. The US Navy Ford class carriers, are the largest aircraft carriers in the world, and 100,000 ton behemoths bigger even than Nimitz class nuclear powered carriers, that are the current backbone of American naval power. And now Nimitz class. Why China and Russia fear America's Nimitz class aircraft carriers? An old carrier that the world still does not want to face in battle. The most successful US Navy carriers of the post-war era, all belong to a class named in honor of World War II's most successful admiral, Chester W. Nimitz. The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were, at the time, the largest warships ever constructed. And although superseded by the new Ford class, the 10 Nimitz carriers will continue to form the bulk of the Navy's carrier force for the next 20 to 30 years.